Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, JF. And um, pretty much, we're going to be talking about a true story today. The movie we will be talking about is Bombshell. Now, this movie is, like I said, it's a true story. And it takes place in, I want to say, right when Trump was coming into office, around 2016. Like, this movie is pretty much about the Fox News scandal with Megyn Kelly and Gretchen Carlson. It's one of them stories. So anyway, um, it starts off with Charlie Theron. She plays Megyn Kelly, like kind of explaining how the Fox News office works and what's going on like behind the scenes. So then it gets to like this subtle um, sexual harassment. I don't want to say so. It was it was it was sexual harassment, but it was it was just kind of like how tricky it was, how they used to how they had the women just wearing like. They was all hot, by the way. All the girls look good. Like, on all these news shows and anchor, like, I never caught eye to that. Like, I never was like, yo, why do the girls look good on all these shows? Like, like ESPN, Fox, all those type of shows. Always the girls on there, and she has to wear heels and dresses. But I thought that was just a choice they was making. So when I saw this movie, and I saw, like, damn, like, this is a requirement. Like, you have to wear this. Like, they want you to wear this outfit. It's like a uniform for the women. Like, I know the guys got to wear suits and stuff, but the women, they had to wear the dresses. They had to show their legs. And Fox News took it a step further because they had clear, like, podiums. So, like, you could always see the girls' legs and you could always see them wearing high heels. I was like, that shit is crazy. Like, I didn't know that was a mandatory mandate for the women. And that was kind of crazy. So, like, the old men would be creeps around the job, especially the one guy, the one that got fired, the head of uh, Fox News. His name was Roger Ailes. He was played by John Lithgow. He was, he, like, he, he was just gross. Like, the things he would do, and it's like the girls, they want to move up and stuff. And it was just kind of like, you looking at this fat bastard. <laughs> just like, yo, you want me to do what? It, okay, because I'm trying to climb up that corporate ladder so you want me to put my skirt up this high it was just i was just like that's fucking foul but anyway gretchen carlson which is played by nicole kidman she put her she kind of like lit the fire because like she wanted to start talking about new topics and she wanted to do certain things and she didn't want to wear that uniform they had to wear and she just it was just a whole lot of things she wanted to do different like she even stopped wearing makeup and stuff and it's like roger wasn't having that so then she was just kind of like yo you sexual harassing me like you know blah 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 and um that's when the shit hit the fan so then like now she's trying to get other women to speak up but other women are kind of like you know Nah, they're not trying to lose their job over this. They just like trying to sweep it under the rug. Like, ah, uh, whatever. That happened a long time ago. So she starts off with Megan Kelly, but Megan Kelly's kind of like, ah, you know, I'm, I'm, cause you know, Megan Kelly was popping. Like she was up there. So then you had um, Kayla, which is played by Margot Robbie, and she kind of started climbing the ladder because, like I said, she started messing with Roger. So anyway, um. She kind of got to her, but still, she wanted to keep her job. And anyway, after all that said and done, they, the girls all come together. Like, they all start noticing, like, you know, they're getting treated bad or whatnot. And it's like, all right, at this point, they come out. So then Gretchen comes out, and then, like, Megan helps her, and then Kayla helps her. And it's like, they all come out and tell their story about, you know, what happened to Roger. So anyway, Roger ends up getting, you know, he gets fired, you know, but he got fired with like 60 million. They had to give him like 60 million. So, you know, he's fired, but he's still rich, but he did get, he had to step down, of course, out of his position. Um, to be honest, I was a little clueless on this, like, cause I don't look at Fox news at all. Like I don't look at none of that. Like I, I, I don't, I look at sports news only. I don't look at like all that stuff. So I didn't even, I knew of Megyn Kelly, but I didn't even know that this story happened like this. Like, I, I didn't know. So pretty much when I found this out and I'm looking at it, I was like, wow, like, this is crazy. Like, this this was a good movie, y'all. Like, I, I would definitely recommend this movie. Like, this is a straight, to me, fire. I'm giving this movie fire. Like, I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing else to say. This movie is fire. If you haven't seen Bombshell, I suggest you watch it. And with that being said, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. 
if you got any questions. Also, comment on this if you've seen Bombshell, if you liked it or didn't like it, just let me know. Just put it in the comment section. And with that being said, subscribe to this channel so you can see all the other videos I do. And uh, yeah, peace and goodbye. Whew.